I will simply observe that when the DEA opened up their discussion about rescheduling cannabis, there was a huge swath of studies that suddenly popped up out of nowhere saying cannabis did everything from causes people to just spontaneously have heart attacks to, you know, it, it caused cancer all the way down the line. A lot of the studies had some pretty pretty bonkers methodology. Like we talk about stuff that wouldn't have made the cut in this in our analysis. That's some one of them. Like for example, one of the studies said, well, we've concluded cannabis causes heart disease and heart attacks. And the way we know that is we did a telephone study where we interviewed like a hundred survivors of heart attacks and nearly 80% of them said that they used medical cannabis. They didn't ask, did you start using the medical cannabis after you had the heart attack to deal with the pain of the recovery? Or did you use the cannabis long before you had the heart attack? So that's, that's just, that's one of my favorites of a lot of studies like that, of, of kind of similar quality popped up right when the DEA went to reschedule.